Hey everybody, welcome to T-Roy Cooks. Appreciate you joining us. We're cooking some meatloaf. It's gonna be a homemade meatloaf, cooking it in the oven. So make sure you get your oven preheated to 350 Fahrenheit. And uh, man, I've been playing around with some different recipes and I finally think I found a recipe that is mwah, it's great. Love it. Let me show you what goes in this. It's gonna be fantastic. Oh, if you're interested in the recipe, just click show more down beneath the video. That'll open the description box. You find the full recipe with all the amounts in there. Let me show you what goes in this. Starting in the front, got some garlic. We got some roasted garlic that I roasted myself earlier this morning. This is some uh, green onion, some chive, flat leaf parsley. This is fresh thyme. Got some red onion, but you're welcome to use whatever type of onion that you want. I've got some eggs, got some celery. My good friends at Little Bells of New York provided the meat we're using today. They sent me one pound of ground beef. This is a prime ground beef. They sent me one pound of ground veal. And they sent me one pound of Berkshire pork. We're gonna use all this. Got some panko bread crumbs back here. Got some milk. We're gonna put some salt and pepper in the mix just to season it a little bit. I'm also gonna throw some steak sauce in there. This is one of my favorites. This is a Lobel's steak sauce. Y'all can find this and the meat and anything else you want from Lobel's at lobels.com. Y'all check them out. Um, tell you what I'm gonna do first here. I've gotta sweat down the onions and the garlic on the stove top. So I'm gonna just put maybe a tablespoon or two of olive oil in a, in a, in a pan. And I'm gonna saute the onions and garlic down. We're gonna let those cool a little bit before we add it to the meat. So I'll bring you back after they cool a little bit. Be right back. All right, folks, let's get this show on the road. As you can see, I've got my ground beef, my pork, and my veal already in here. Um, my hands are clean, by the way. Let's go ahead and start throwing these ingredients in. These are the uh, green onions, chives, and again, hit show more down beneath the video. That'll open up the description box. You can find all the amounts. Uh, fat leaf parsley, you can use the curly if you want. Fresh thyme. This is that roasted garlic. Love roasted garlic, oh my gosh, that's good stuff. Get all of that out of there, oh yeah. Okay, gonna go in with our eggs, which I've lightly beaten. Put this in the sink real quick, all right. We've got our breadcrumbs, panko breadcrumbs. Here we go. Wet them down with a little bit of milk. Just like so. Going in with some steak sauce. How much? That's a good question, let's see. I'm thinking maybe half cup or so. There we go. And need some Salt and pepper, fresh ground black pepper going in. Hey folks, if you like it a little spicy, you can go ahead and throw you some uh, hot paprika or uh, cayenne pepper in here if you want. This is some uh, fresh ground sea salt, Himalayan pink. It's actually not sea salt, but you get the drift. Use whatever salt you want to use. Now it's time to get down and dirty with it, folks. Oh, I forgot. I've got those, uh, I got the red onion and the garlic, and I've decided to go ahead and throw in the uh, celery. So that's all been sauteed and softened down, you know. I almost forgot about this. You really don't want to overwork your meat, so I'm just going to go in here, kind of bust up this meat a little bit. Time to start getting in there with my hands. Let's get down and dirty with it, man. Let's do this. All right, so. Just basically what you want to do is like fold, fold all the meat over, kind of combine the meat a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Bust up that meat. Make sure that the pork and the veal and the beef all get intermixed together. Just like so. Again, you just want all those breadcrumbs to get moistened up. And that's going to help keep your meat look moist. But you don't want to overwork this. Once everything looks like it's, it's pretty well combined, which is how it's starting to look for me right here, you want to uh, get you a pan out. You can use a, like a cookie sheet pan with some parchment or some foil on it. Or um, what I'm gonna do is use a broiler pan. So let me move this to the side, wash my hands, we'll be right back. All right, now what you want to do is take your meatloaf out of the bowl like so. Make sure you get all that goodness out of there. 
folks, I really, really, really wish y'all could smell this. This is, this is really nice. You want to try to squeeze it and get it fairly tight so that you don't get a lot of air air bubbles or air pockets in the meat itself. And the reason I'm using this broiler pan is because I want the uh, I want the grease to drip down out of the meat, and I don't want the meat to be sitting in the grease while it's cooking. So that's my idea behind this. Now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan just to coat the bottom a little bit and that'll help with cleanup but it'll also add a little bit of steam put a little moisture in the uh, in the oven environment there which is uh, it's gonna work fine for us in this application yeah I'm liking the way that's looking All right, we're gonna pop this in the oven again the ovens 350 Fahrenheit we're gonna go about 45 50 minutes and I am gonna insert a meat probe in here let me show that to you all right gang let's show you what we got here Again, we're going in with the meatloaf. Now what I've got is, I've got this uh, smoke. There you go, thermal work smoke right here. Just gonna insert it in the middle, just like so. I'm just gonna close the uh, oven door on that. And I'm just gonna let the magnet stick that down there like that. We want to go to about 155 or 160 internal temp Fahrenheit. That's why I'm using a meat probe. Uh, but again, it should take about 45, 50 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit. We'll check back on it here in a little bit. Oh, and we're going to make a sauce for the topping on this too. So y'all stick around for that. Be right back. All right, the meatloaf's been about 25 minutes in the oven. She's looking really nice. Let's make some sauce for it. Again, we're going in with the steak sauce. Let's see what we've got here. About that much, like so. There we go. Get all that goodness out of there. All right. Mm -hmm. Use your favorite barbecue rub. All right, we're gonna whip all that together with a fork or a spoon. Let's baste the, uh, baste the meatloaf with it. All right, folks, let's baste this meatloaf. Check it out, check it out. Again, that's been about, about a half hour. Just take our sauce we just made for the topping. Just brush it on the top and on the sides. That's all we're gonna do. And that will let it uh, cook on here for the remainder of the cook. And if you want at the very end, you can always add more. Uh, give it a little glaze, but I like I like it actually cooked on a little bit. That's why I'm doing it right now. But it still has about 20 more minutes to cook in the oven. Oh, and if you don't have barbecue sauce, just throw you some brown sugar in this glaze topping. That'll work for you real good. All right, folks, that's what we've got. Uh, again, pulled it out of the oven and once it hit 160 internal, and let it rest for about uh, 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and slice it up. Well, doesn't that? That nice glaze looks wonderful on there. Just slice this baby up real quick here. Oh yeah. Get some nice thick slices. Oh, you can see it's still steaming. It's still really hot. Oh, goodness gracious. I think this is going to be delicious. Here we are, folks. All right. That's what we've got. Let's give that a taste. All right, everybody, let's check this out. Show you what we finished up with here. Look at that gorgeous meatloaf. Well, I'll tell you what, just slicing through, you can tell this is a good one. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's give this a try. Man. The kitchen's smelling fabulous, folks. Really, really nice. All right. Down the hatch. Oh man, that's so tender. Very, very nice flavor. Mm. That's the perfect meatloaf, folks. And that glaze on top just gives you some pop. It's good stuff. Karen, what do you think about it, babe? Well, I have never liked meatloaf, but this is the first time that I've ever tasted meatloaf, but I like it. It's delicious. 
Well, yeah, thank I you. Love Get the thumbs up from Karen. Y'all like it? Y'all give me a thumbs up. And by all means, I hope you share the video. When you do, please tell all of your friends that T-Roy cooks responsibly. Cheers, everybody.